one company, three managers, seven sims. Are you ready for the meeting? Yes, I'm ready for the meeting. Good. Let's go. Where are we going? Top four, please. It's all about making a great deal. We make a great deal. We have a huge win. And look at the costs. I'll be able to keep my budget. Okay. Do we have any remaining issues? We win. They lose. Chris and John gets greedy when negotiating with the supplier. We're in the middle of a large negotiation and we'd like your help. Sure, we can set up a video conference anytime. This contract will end up in court. Why? What's the problem? Too many misunderstandings. This is going to be a mess. I've already called a contract expert. How did you know? I know you. We are going to negotiate a great deal with one of our suppliers. We want to have a long contract and let suppliers bid for it. In my experience, this very often leads to two types of applicants. Could you explain what you mean? Those with extremely high experience of tendering, but not necessarily working to deliver the offering, who are willing to take a risk, but will negotiate and enforce hard. And those with absolutely no experience at all, who will be taken advantage of through the process. I still don't see the problem. Pretty much everyone else won't be engaged with it. The assumption that the CEO can take their business elsewhere is true, but many clients forget that so can good suppliers. They still need us as customers. If all suppliers were created equal, this wouldn't be a problem. But despite what many board level managers who lack experience in vendor procurement think, the reality is suppliers are not all created equal. This means that we don't have the power in negotiations that we think? Yes, and in addition, the reality is that most large scale procurements never deliver on their promised value yet force client companies into a position from which they are unable to pivot out. A five-year procurement without a break clause introduces a big financial commitment onto the balance sheet. An investment, if you like. So you say we end up in a bad situation? Well, the worst possible position is to appoint a supplier like the first option and be stuck unable to leave it. We would end up in a bad deal. The only reason that a heavy position is taken is because the organization doesn't trust or rather fear suppliers. Organizations often take positions of super strict contracts because there isn't the trust to deliver a piece of work. But why? It worked before. This mistrust happens regardless of the value of the contract, despite the fact you know, risks differ significantly based on size. Part of it is educating the CEO using their preferred thinking style on an alternative option for procurement, including smaller segments of work. Chris, Chris, could this be something? This very much depends on their thinking style or the color of thought they have. If they're emotional, they have to be presented with something that's much less analytical and plays to their more emotional style of thinking, appealing to the marketing and profile angles um, of successes achieved using the new way, whilst also controlling the emotional aspects of risk through empathy. What about more analytical managers? Analytical CEOs have to be presented with a good, solid argument, including a lot of facts and figures that accurately and robustly present the position without attempting to fit, and considers all trade-offs. 
Attempting to fib can even make an enemy of them, positioning the relationship in an irrevocable position. This sounds like a good approach. If they learn from the experience and realize that vendors don't have to be procured in a totally exclusive and exclusionary manner, that is probably the biggest benefit they can realize from it. A great deal is when both parties gain from the contract. It's also better to make several smaller deals instead of one larger to reduce risk. Finally, it's great to have good advisors. Thank you. I'm really glad that we have made this deal. And that we're finally working together. Thank you. It has been a pleasure. Great work, everybody. Thank you. And we got a deal that is a win-win. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Now, can we have a few weeks without any change? Please? The board wants to meet with you. No. <laughs> oh, where is where is Chris? Um, he's talking at the board right now. They oh, called okay. him in. Oh, but you're on the board.